Thank you, Amelia. 502 right now. Three former St. Louis City Aldermanic members who pleaded guilty in a federal public corruption case. They're set to be sentenced this afternoon. Let's check in with Fox 2's Chris Renier. He is downtown with news of the possible jail time for the former city officials. Good morning, Chris. John, good morning to you. Blair, good morning to you as well. Former Board of Aldermen President Louis Reed, along with Alderman members John Collins Muhammad and Jeffrey Boyd, could all face significant prison time for their roles in the federal bribery case. This sentencing memo from the U.S. Attorney's Office says all three violated the public trust and should be justly punished. We are just outside of the Eagleton Courthouse this morning. This is where the sentences will be handed down by Judge Stephen Clark. The U.S. Attorney's Office saying that according to sentencing guidelines, Reed and Collins Muhammad should each face 37 to 46 months in prison for their roles in the pay-to-play schemes, while Boyd should face 30 to 37 months behind bars. We can show you images released by federal prosecutors of all three city leaders receiving cash payments. Reed, Collins, Muhammad, and Boyd all resigned their positions on the Board of Aldermen and pleaded guilty to bribery-related charges in August. Boyd also pleaded guilty to insurance fraud in a separate case. Reed, Collins, Muhammad, and Boyd all pleading guilty to basically accepting thousands of dollars in exchange for political favors. The sentencing memo from the U.S. Attorney's Office reading, this case presents a picture of greed, pure, and simple. These defendants sold their elected offices in exchange for cash bribes, campaign donations, and other things of value with total disregard for the best interest of their constituents, the real victims in this case. It goes on to read, our public officials should be held accountable for their criminal conduct by appropriate prison sentences. The victim citizens deserve it and fairness and justice require it. The sentencing are slated to start at 1.30 this afternoon. For now, live downtown, Chris Renier, Fox News.